Hey everybody, the Bong is here and welcome back to the Sanctum. Today is October 2nd, 2018. We are creeping along into the month of October. In fact, some people are celebrating Halloween pretty much since yesterday. But anyway, we are doing Mega Man 11 for the PC. This game actually came out today. So I'm very excited to give this a try. Alright, so there's four difficulties, which is rare for a Mega Man game, as far as I know. Like, I know Mega Man 2 only had two difficulties, but... Well, 9 and 10, I believe, had some as well. I'm gonna play on normal, because I'm not a little bitch. The year is 20XX. The laboratory of Thomas Light, Father of Modern Robot Society. Many hard-working robots have arrived for their annual maintenance checkup. Hmm. All systems nominal. You're in great shape, Blockman. All thanks to you, Doc. You built me rock solid! Well, I can hear the construction yard calling. Block out! Rock out with <laughs> your block out. Good luck out there. Roll, how many checkups are left? Let's see, we just finished with Block Man. That leaves Torch Man, Acid Man, Impact Man, Bounce Man, Fuse Man, Tundra Man, and Blast Man. Just seven to go. Oh, brother, there's no end to him. Doc, how about giving your favorite assistant a break? I don't need a break, Otto. You know, for a robot, you sure do complain a lot. Now let's crank it up a gear. Oh, I ain't a machine. I oh, am, but still. Mr. How do you George? type with your right hand, Otto? Oh, earthquake! What? What on earth? Bro, Otto, hurry to me! Splendid to see you again, Light. Wiley. Doctor, what's going on? Stand back, everyone. I'll handle this. Mega Man! Hm, this is no time for your heroics. I've simply come to give Dr. Light a message. Then kindly be quick about it. Of course. You see, I recalled some old research. The very invention you so coldly crushed when we were students together. Or has your memory failed you? A university days. A device. It can't be. Oh, but it can. Your objections wouldn't stifle me forever. I have perfected my design. And now we'll see who was right all along. Dr. Light, what's the ruckus? Mm -hmm. Perfect timing. The lot of you will make excellent test subjects. Subjects! Quickly! You must all run and hide! Here. My robots! Over here, Light! That speed! What have you done? Dang it! Nobody blocks Black Man! Let those robots go, Dr. Wily! <laughs> I have a better idea! At last, the world will bow down to the genius of Dr. Wily! <laughs> Doctor, I'll go after Wily. Wait, Mega Man! Wily's invention is called the Double Gear System. It's designed to push robots far beyond their normal strength and speed. If he really has completed it, I'm afraid you won't stand a chance. Hello, Mr. Figgy. How's it going? But we can't just let him get away. Mega Man. I can tell you won't be stopped. Very well. This is the prototype double gear system that Wiley developed back at Robot University. If I install this into your circuits, you may be able to stop him. 
But it's dangerous. Double gear places great strain on robot systems. I can take it, Doctor. I want to do this, no matter the cost. Hook me up! As you wish. The installation will take some time. There's a lot of work to do. A lot of times it's a few days. system is fully installed. Mega Man, rise and shine! Go get him, Mega Buddy! And remember, your old pal Otto is here to help out. Mega Man, that dirty Wily won't know what hit him. Mega Man, you're doing a noble thing. Be careful out there. Doctor, roll. Otto, I'll be back soon. I don't want an explanation of the double gear system. I'll probably go over that as we get into our first stage. View explanation of the double gear technique again, no. At least it's not like Kirby Superstar where you say no and they show you a tutorial anyway. So yeah, you can press the right button to save and load your game, which is pretty cool. You can do that immediately. Well, I guess you can do that for like the past few Mega Man games. Welcome back, Mega Man. And if you hit the left you button, you can books. go to the shop. Okay, Mega. What will it be? Right now, I have no screws at all, so it's not like I can just buy anything. You can go back to your options if you want to. Press pause to go over your equipment. Seems you can only carry six energy tanks for now. The mystery tank is like the best thing you can get. W tank is for your weapons. Support apparently is something you manually select. Beat is something that happens automatically. And apparently there are parts you can buy to make your character stronger. All right, so uh, for shits and giggles, I've never played this game. Maybe just like a little bit of one stage. We're gonna start with Bounce Man. So remember, I'm going in there completely blind. Therefore, like no hints or spoilers would be great. Guessing I need to jump from a really high from like really high? Ah, there we go. That's how I make that work. I always have to bring in these kinds of enemies, which is annoying. So if I press the right button, I can do a speed burst. And the left button allows me to have more power. The power uh, gear actually gives me a stronger charge shot. As well as, you know, an extra upgrade to whatever weapon I have equipped. Speed, of course, slows down time around me, therefore allowing me to react a little bit easier. Oh yes, there's lots of bouncing here. It's just like Springman stage from Mega Man 7. We're dealing with balls instead of springs. Okay, that's how it's gonna work. And yep, I figured I would just get slapped around. That's how you get across. I'm guessing these balls will hurt me if I touch them. Now, the thing about the power gear, you can have, like, really good charge. Hello there, Mr. Dre the Almighty. Where's your buddy who's a doctor? Um, you do get a bit of recoil, so keep that in mind. Make sure you're not using that somewhere where you, if you fall or get pushed back, you'll die. Oh, okay. Didn't want to hit the ball there, but I did. Oh, the balloons actually hurt me. Luckily, charge shots can get the job done. Yeah, I 
do see a one up over there. I don't know if the balloons will hurt me if I just touch them normally. Yes, they do. Okay, now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get that one up. Should I just use my... I don't think my rush coil will actually reach that. Oh. Damn it. Oh, wait, yes it will! I do like the uh, Y button in proportion to an Xbox 360 controller. You know, like the top face button is brush coil automatically. I don't think there is a uh, quick button for slide, which is unfortunate. Because if I wanted a quick button for something, being able to slide is probably what I would have wanted. Wait, hold on. You can map the slide button? Hang on. Let, let me try that. I suppose I can do that in options. Uh, controls. Okay. I think I'll assign that to... the B button? So let me take out Rush Jet. Because I can probably just do that that way. I mean, I obviously don't have Rush Jet, so therefore, why would I need that map now? Oh, baby! Guess who just got an E-Tank without slowing down time? Yeah, it's already confirmed. I got it. Maybe you're the one that's not paying attention. I wasn't born yesterday, you know. Trying to get as, like, many screws as possible, because, well, obviously, I might need to buy stuff. And the more stuff I buy, the easier my run will be. At least I can slow him down for a little bit. Oh! Ah! Oh, wow. Get better control if I do this. Okay, there we go. Oh, no. There's one thing that is an issue in this game. Um, it depends. I'd say give it to me if you can tell that I'm struggling. I mean, as long as it wasn't something that, like, I have to watch out for that doesn't crash the game. Like, uh, in Legacy Collection, when you check the leaderboards. I remember that was a thing. Well, you might as well tell me now. I think I need to hold the jump. Okay, there we go. Hey, it's a frog! What's up? Okay, its weakness is its eyes. Whoa, just turned into like little balls. Okay, so I'm going to say don't tell me what those tasks are. Maybe I'll find them out by accident. Okay, so as long as I keep moving really fast, the, the tongue should not be a problem. Okay, 
That takes care of that problem. At least health pickups haven't been too rare. Please don't do that. I will just say, don't worry about it for now. I can probably find out as I go. And it may not be something that's going to be game-breaking anyway. Big Bergy with the follow! Thank you so much! Glad you can make it! I did not need that weapon energy anyway, so you go right ahead. I don't care rat's ass. Yeah, there's an awful lot of stuff over here. No! Why did that happen? Oh! 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 Ah! Uh. I can get a charge shot ready. I can destroy that balloon. Yeah, just like other Mega Man games where you see like those things that glide across the ground that you can't do anything with them until you find maybe a certain weapon. I don't know what that weapon is, but we'll find out. Oh. Okay, I gotta recalibrate myself here. Okay. Whew, that was close. Ah, God. You get, like, a high bounce if you hold the jump button. I need to take care of that balloon. I don't think the jumping is an issue for me like AOS. I think the issue that I've been noticing is you get staggered so long whenever you get hit. Your recovery time is like a little bit slower. That's the one thing I've noticed so far. It's not game breaking, but it is something I've noticed compared to other Mega Man games. Okay. I'll get the hang of this at some point. Can I get my timing right on this? Like, because the ceiling of these balls is so low. Oh, finally. Another thing I've noticed that's actually good, the uh, enemies don't respawn way too fast. Oh God, we gotta fight this guy again. I don't know about you, but I don't know how the hell I'm gonna, like, get under this guy. With the balls like this. Ah, uh, I made my double gear wear off. Okay, I have to get over him this time. Okay, that mini boss is gone again. Do I want to be slapped this way? Yes, okay. The boss, the mini boss can eat you, but it doesn't like swallow you, it just keeps you stunned.
the stretches between checkpoints are a bit long. That is another thing I've noticed about this game. Like, I think there's only like the start of the stage, a checkpoint, outside the boss door, and that's it. I could be mistaken though, like maybe there's more checkpoints. Oh, don't worry about the one in Blockman stage. I know what that one's like. I played the demo. And I'm sure the stage is more or less the same. I don't have Rush Jet, so why bother sliding there? Alright, Ironhead, you go do that. Pizza can be quite messy, especially if it's good. I must say, the art style of this game is really nice. Ah, damn it. You gotta go eat, man? You go do that. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Bounce right here. And I messed up. But yeah, in older Mega Man games, those turrets will be back in no time. I've actually had to beat the demo on casual because uh, normal was kicking my ass on Black Man alone. But the reason why I wanted to do it on normal again was because, well, seeing as how this is the full game, I'd have access to more than just the base stuff. Oh, you can actually switch difficulties as you go. I think it could in like 9 and 10 as well. I could be wrong though. Oh, damn it. Oh yeah, Kissard Studios just released like an announcement recently that you know that Chronicles of a Dark Lord games that I played before? Their newest hit, Sanctus Mortem, is going to be out in November. I keep missing that damn spring. It's actually really close to where I dropped. Okay, let's try this again. Around here. Oh, I did not go far enough to the right. It's either too far or not far enough. Welcome to my life. When you're adjusting margins in Microsoft Word. Okay, this should be good. Yeah. Made it to the boss. Alright, let's see how this goes. At least I have two E tanks in case I mess up. Oh boy, a new I get an achievement every time I get to a boss, really. Let's get cupping. Did you say cupping? Okay, charge shots make him ricochet the other way. Woo! Uh oh, he's powering up! Okay, he doesn't 
seem that hard. Pattern seems very set. That's a pretty cute voice, lol. Kind of reminds me of, say, Aquaman and Clownman, both from Mega Man 8. Another thing I like about this game, when you defeat a boss and get their power-ups, it also changes the uh, headgear. So we got a bounce ball. We can go test it right now. You can aim it too. That's actually really awesome. I do like you can test your weapons to see if they're any good. Ah, Mega Man! I've made a breakthrough! I can now create new items for you. How can you now? Okay, Mega, what'll it be? Okay, what would I like Yo, to Mega? have? Can I interest you in some parts? Hmm, I do like to make my buster stronger. Sure this is what you want, buddy? And there you have it! There. Okay, so I think I'll also take an energy balancer. Sure this is what you want, buddy? Energy balancers are really good if you don't want to manually switch to weapons to charge them up. And of course there's all this stuff too. Because I can only carry so many uh, E-tanks and weapon tanks. But if I get this, I can carry more of them. I think that's all I'm gonna buy for now. Okay, when it comes to bouncing... Well, this guy looks electric, and bouncy balls are rubber. So maybe Fuse Man is weak against bounce balls. Let's just apply a little bit of logic here. <laughs> I can use the right analog stick to switch weapons on the fly, like, literally just aim at all eight. Or I can use, like, the left and right trigger to do that. If I stand on this, is this gonna hurt me? Yep, it does. So I think this is equipped right now. And I can remove it if I so choose. Huh, bubble bats are back. Oh, I, I like that I picked this up. It means I don't have to aim... S oh. Did he just get destroyed? Not by that. Alright. So I gotta be patient and just wait for this to move. Until it goes in there. Uh, that's the plan to short circuit fuse, man. I'm hoping rubber is the weakness. Hey, it's a droid! Okay, I just picked up a gear. If I were to wager a guess, I'm guessing gears will cause your, um, your double gear to fully replenish. Rather than just wait for the charge. I think that's what it is. Hi. Alright, I'm having an easy time so far. Okay. Let's see what this is all about. 
drones. Yeah, why did I say droids? Actually, did not want you to show up, but okay. And I'm glad that the game tells you if you hit the checkpoint or not. Key here is to uh, get somewhere where the lasers don't reach. Okay, it doesn't work on these either. So whatever weapon can destroy those gliders, I don't have yet. At least it's not like the lasers in Quick Man stage. Oops. Oh. Okay, I see what I gotta do. There we go. It just takes a little bit of finagling. How's my double gear to, like, uh, overheat, though? Oh. Ah, I got it filled up. Nice. Okay, so that weapon actually worked against that mid-boss really well. Oh, there's, an, there's more than one checkpoint. That's great news. Oh, oh, no, oh. Okay, I should just go. Totally wasted that health. And I totally done the bad thing. Okay, I'm gonna lure you over here. <laughs> okay, I'll accept that. I didn't think you'd come back. Okay. Up. Wait. Hold on. You can destroy those? Not with the buster, but I have to use the balls. You can't destroy, like, the, um... The electrodes. I did not mean to slide. I made a mistake there. Oh well. I wasn't far from the checkpoint anyway, so it was no big deal. So yeah, I, it pretty much tells you you have to use the um, the speed gear. But yeah, being able to destroy those will make my life a lot easier.
Look, it can't even connect to this anymore. Yeah, exactly. The first death had to happen at some point. Hello. Damn! My balls are powerful! <laughs> okay, what's a good path here? Wait for that guy to pass. Get over here. There we go. Look, there was a chance I was going to misquote something completely out of context on purpose. And if I was going to do something like that, might as well be about falls. Only this kind of quality content you can find here. Alright, let me get my balls ready. We're at the boss already? Huh. Thought I had to fight the mid-boss twice. How could I refuse? You can't. Power up. Okay, it is his weakness. Oh, he moves fast. <laughs> to the windows, to the walls, till the sweat drips from my bounce balls. Skeet, skeet, skeet. <laughs> Hello there, Magus Lee. Glad you can make it. So far, I've gotten through two Robot Masters in this game. Now, we have ourselves a new weapon. The Scramble Thunder. Okay, that's actually really neat. Uh, Mega Man. Okay, Mega. What'll it be? Yo, Mega. Can I interest oh, you in some pops? Okay, there's a new energy balancer called the Energy Balancer Neo. This recharges all weapon gauges when you pick up a weapon capsule. I don't know if I want to invest in that. I only got two weapons. I think I'm just gonna save my my bolts for now. All right, so what would be good again using electricity? I'm not gonna say impact, man. Tundra man, I believe I need ice. Let's try acid man. If I don't have the weakness, at least we'll have a challenge. I mean, acid's gotta have some water, right? <laughs> Uh, it has to be the spiders. Little face on the spider. It's adorable. Let me guess. If it falls in the water, it's going to become acid, isn't it? Why can't this game be like Mega Man 5 and have like a lot of health? Or a lot of one ops show up. Okay, now it's pretty toxic. It's more toxic than a League of Legends community. Oh, 
Oh, gee, where have I seen these guys before? Pushed around by the the current. No big deal. It's not like anything's chasing me. Except these things. But they're already gone, pretty much. Overwatch is worse. I've never played Overwatch. First person shooters are not really my thing. In fact, Shadow Man Second Coming that I'm playing right now has a little bit of a first-person shooter element when you get the uh, sniper rifle. And there's one part coming up that totally annoyed me. And then after that, it pissed me off after I figured out what I needed to do. Oh god, there are Joes in this game too. Oh, I thought I timed it, but I didn't. Get away from me, spoders. Oh, like those orbs, they stay around. I'm guessing this stuff does not get back to normal. Oh, but it didn't hurt me. I guess it does if I stay in it. Okay, now the acid hurts me. Yeah, it looks like they definitely want me to use this ability. Thank you for nothing. <laughs> Oh, I missed. So yeah, Acid Man does provide like a decent challenge for a stage. Like you have to take care of those acid bubbles before things get real bad. Thunder Scramble makes like the little spiders easy to handle too. This stuff is yellow. Can I get some extra life pickups, please? Thank you. I needed that. Because I haven't been picking up extra lives in a while. Oof. Seems like... Oh! Seems like you do, like, a little hop when you walk off something in a pit. Oh, this is working. Okay, I, I need to destroy that. There we go. Took a little while to figure out how to work that out. At least I'll get all this health and all my weapon energy back. I'm pretty sure I told this story already, but I did play Fortnite once on the Switch because somebody actually installed it on my Switch without telling me until after the fact. But I mean, it's free, so it's no big deal. Um, played it once. Couldn't find anybody for like 10 minutes. Okay, I'm just going to go down with this. Um, died after 10-15 minutes of not finding anyone. 
But I guess that's Battle Royale for ya. Huh, better you than me. I gotta figure out what that achievement was for. I guess because maybe an enemy got killed falling into a hazard? That sounds like that would probably be it. Oh, he survived! Remember when people were saying that PUBG should have been Game of the Year even though it wasn't even finished? Uh -oh. <laughs> I thought I messed up. I don't know how I'm getting lucky sometimes. Man, they, they're throwing some spikes up in this his house. Alright, let me think about a plan to deal with these guys. Like, if I can get this guy killed without having to jump... A lot of height on these jumps. You think Fortnite is overrated? Everybody in the market talks about and or plays it. I see a couple of local people suggest it to me. And there's also the dancing, which, you know, if they enjoy it, let them enjoy it. We'll just enjoy other stuff. Like this. Lots of parents are like rallying against Fortnite now. Saying like uh, it's caused their kids to go crazy. Why do they put like so many spike traps in that one little part? It's almost had to be pixel perfect jumping. They are not making it easy on you at all. There is one thing I've noticed about Mega Man 11. The jumping physics are very floaty compared to other games. Like, I'm able to get, like, in the air for longer. Alright, so let me get this weapon ready just in case. Welcome to my chemical paradise. I'll melt you to the last boat! Just okay, when is your acid shield gonna go away? Okay. Thunder Scramble is not the weakness. Oh, he just... Oh. Okay, he's moving a bit fast for me, for me now. Okay, if I have to use my E-Tank, I'll use my E-Tank. Alright, I gotta use it. Looks very fluid overall. Yeah, I'm a bit surprised that it hasn't, like, started for me. Okay, 
gotta find a sweet spot to avoid the shots. So far, I'm not doing it. There we go. I, I did use double gear earlier, but it overheated. That's why I didn't use it on that last stretch. There we go. Acid Man's down too. I look like a little raindrop there. Press the attack button to generate an acid barrier and block incoming shots. You can use both at once if you're near death. Welcome back, Mega Man. Okay, Mega. Um, Whoa, Mega. Still seems a bit risky because I'd still be near so death. Much. Auto charges the Mega Buster. That does. That sounds a little annoying. I don't know if I want to consider that. Okay, this reduces your energy gauge, but makes the Ace and Hole Double Gear technique available immediately. Adds grip enhancing spikes to the soles of your boots. I think I might want that, or do I want something else? Shock absorber might be. It seems a bit negligible right now. Sure, this is what you want, buddy? And there you have it! Part complete! There, let me get the spike okay, boots. Mega. What'll it be? Are you sure? I think I want another E tank. Luck is for losers, roll. Huh. Alright, let me do a block man. Okay, this was a boss we fought in the demo. And I'm thinking maybe Acid could be good against him. I keep thinking there's like an item behind here, but there isn't. Yeah, I've gotten used to this level so many times playing this on my Switch. You get an achievement for actually killing that one enemy? That seems very specific. Thank you. Blockman is indeed a bitch. In case you haven't seen it before, just know it's not as easy as you would think. Like, not as typical as, say, a Guts Man or a Stone Man, for sure. So far, it's going really well, because, again, because I've played through this level a lot, it gives you a good feel of, like, how you get through there. Yeah, Star Allies is really good, Ironhead. I would recommend it. Especially if you got, like, a couple people to play with. And even if you don't... Guess what? You can have a AI controlled allies. So it's not like they're going to be left out. Yeah. 
I never liked this mid boss because like you have to have like good reaction time, especially for here. This is very annoying. So I'll try not to let it overheat. So I'll still have my uh, speed gear for when the next uh, rotation happens. Where are you going? Okay, over there. Now you're dead. Oh, I totally agree with the AI and Star Allies. Don't have 100% on it yet, though. Probably because I've been too busy playing other games. But I, I did beat the main story. There! That, that guy is an ass in such a cramped space. Gotta be quick for this part. Otherwise, you will die. Yeah. Ooh, I thought my jump was stunted there. I don't know if... I don't think it was this screen, but it was definitely a screen like it where I did get a game over first time I played the demo. Like, just missed a jump and fell into the pit. Oh, okay. That attack was not very effective against the Mets. Then again, almost anything is effective against the New York Mets, right? Na 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 na. Baseball jokes that most of my fan base would not get. Because it's baseball. This jump kind of scares me. Oh, there we go. Oh. Wow, I don't even consume uh, weapon energy until the shield is gone. Yeah, that there is why you need the speed gear for this sub-boss. Oh, oh. Did take a few hits there. Oh, got him just in time. I knew he was going to miss out on an extra life if I let him go. Yeah. You did the wrong thing by coming at me, bro. like my balls? Of course you do. Okay, while I was like uh, waiting for the stream to start, I did see like a various other amount of people were streaming this as well, including Dark Side Phil. And I'm pretty sure there was a lot of ball jokes there.
I missed the dog. <laughs> I don't even know why I bother to try to kill you there. You had nothing for me. stiffness of the jumping. I mean, that, something like that could have happened in other Mega Man games, too. Okay, maybe that's not the best laid out plan. I just gotta remember when it comes to the rush coil, just use it while standing in that spot. You know what? Who cares if you're still not living by yourself at the age of 27 or 32, Ironhead? Everybody goes through life at different speeds. You're going through yours, and that's entirely fine. As long as you're somewhere that you're safe and happy, that's all that matters. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that block to go down before I do this. Ha! Speed strats, y'all. Definitely getting a lot of uh, Inca vibes here, like Incan ruins. Well, look, the thing is, the economy is going to make a lot of people live with their parents. That's normal. And sometimes it's just for the sake of being closer to family. Or maybe certain parents are not able to care for themselves anymore and they need help. We live in a society, you know. According to David Cage, so it must be true, right? I want to see if they're going to trick me about putting a secret right there. Alright, moment of truth. Does acid work against Blockman? I never thought you'd make it this far. You're a few bricks short of a load. Excuse me? I'm gonna say no. Oh, now we come to the second phase. This is where the part where it becomes a bitch.
yeah. That's block, man. Uh, Pink Floyd's gonna sue, you know. At least he backs away when he's gonna go into that base. Like, there's hardly any safe zones when he's this close to you. Like, right there, for instance. Ooh, that was close. Okay, now we're on to, like, the last base. Now he's desperate. Like, look at him. He's just going. It's like a devil on steroids. And that's Blockman in a nutshell. I don't understand why they made this guy have so many phases to him compared to the other bosses so far. Like, as far as I know, none of the other bosses had, like, alternate phases. Well, we got the block dropper now. Time to cook some Kraft Mac and Cheese dinner trademark. <laughs> Doctor, is something wrong? The double gear system. It was so very long ago. It was on that day, Wiley and I had our falling out. He quite literally threw a wrench in our gears. We were students then, each pursuing robotics research in our own way. Each of us was passionate about forging the way ahead. To a future where humans and robots might live together in harmony. <laughs> Look at Roland Otto in the background. By giving robots independent thought, they could be true partners to humankind at last. Naive as always. Even robots that think for themselves will never be anything more than tools. But with unstoppable power, insurmountable speed. It's only when we build robots with the power to outdo humans that people will truly accept robots for what they are. And with my double gear system, we can make that dream a reality. With this installed, any robot can instantly become a hero. However, I was strongly opposed to Wiley's ideas and research. The double gear system, it puts an incredible strain on the robots that use it. And if it fell into the wrong hands, it could be used to cause terrible harm. At the time, a committee was convened, and Wiley's research was cancelled. In favor of my independent thought research. Wiley never forgave me, and his views have grown ever more extreme since then. How ironic that my efforts to quench Wiley's hot-headedness before it led him astray 
only ended up fueling the fire. Doctor, I never knew. If only I'd shown him there was a way to work together, instead of just telling him that he was wrong. Maybe we'd still be friends. A way to work together. Even the double gear system can be a tool for good, if used properly. But using it properly requires proper judgment. Wiley's dream of developing technology to make any robot into a hero could become reality if used by you. I'm trusting you, Mega Man. Oh, I almost forgot something very important. I've just finished giving Rush a good tune-up. He's all ready to head out with you. Rush! Rush, help Mega Man and keep him safe. Be a good boy now. We've got this, Rush. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna say no to the hats because I know how it's Rush so Jet works. Okay, Mega. What are we Yo, doing? Mega. Can I interest you in some parts? Oh, uh, let's see. I would pretty much like to get. Let me get the shock absorber. Sure, this is what you want, buddy. And there you have it. Part complete. All right, so with that taken care of, I think we should go to. Let's go to Tundra Man next. <laughs> He's got skates on. I like that. Ready. Oh, you gotta head out, man? No problem. But thank you so much for coming regardless. Okay, less likely to slip on icy surfaces. So I still slip a little. What happens if I take it off? Oh, I slip more. If you want them, I'll probably find them, get them for you. So, yeah, you take it easy, man. Oh, look, there's a, a stork. Okay, those look like the machines from Mega Man 6. Okay, let's see what we got here. That only stuns them. I hit him with acid. Doesn't kill him. Doesn't kill him. I guess I don't have the weapon to kill these guys yet. Having a lot of fun with this game so far. Oh, I thought I would just go through the gap. How wrong I was. Alright guys, I'm just gonna go on a limb and this might be a bit harsh for me to assume this now. Given it's still not that late into the game. I'm just going to say, enemies do not drop extra lives at all. I've never seen one drop by an enemy once. So that's a bit unfortunate to me. Let's 
see. Okay, it isn't fully charging the buster. There. Not making that same mistake twice. Ah, little bunnies! They're none the wiser. Oh, even like dinosaur fossils here for some reason. Whoa, it's windy. Wind is usually what makes winter suck in Canada. And I guess other parts of the world, too. Hey, armor, how's it going? Oh, there's an extra life. Considering how rare they are in this game. I wonder if this game would be like Donkey Kong Country 3. Where sometimes the wind is going and then other times the wind will stop. You're not going to crush that health, are you? I should not have went for it. I made a horrible mistake, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming what I got was not an extra life. At least I got half the bosses defeated so far. So I'm making good progress. It amazes me how crisp this game is running. Like, I'm really glad they went with a new art style as opposed to, like, doing what they did with 9 and 10 go back to old school. Old school was nice, but at the same time, you need to move on and let things go. And that's what they did here. They look more like eggs than, uh, rabbits. And I'm pretty sure bunnies do not lay eggs. Except if you're thinking about those mini-egg advertisements that we get in Canada. Because Cadbury, that's where, that's where the shit's at. I should not have aimed the ball downward while standing on the ground. Mistakes have been made. Tell you what, I'm just gonna kill myself. In the game, of course, don't get the wrong idea. That way I can redo this level with more lives. I was just looking at my uh, my viewer list, and I just noticed it dropped down to single digits as soon as I game over. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's like they did not want me to do that. It's like, no, man. We came here to see you do Tundra Man stage on zero lives. Or one life, rather. How dare you puss out? Okay, now we're back to normal, so I guess Twitch was just being Twitch. Because, you know, it can't just be YouTube causing a bit of headaches now and then. Okay, 
hopefully I can make it through like that one screen there. They went 8-bit for nine or 10 because unlike today, we didn't have many games that resemble older games in the past several decades. I, I guess. And who knows, maybe with like Wii or Wii U technology, Mega Man 11 in this kind of art style would not have looked as good. For some reason, keep thinking there's something on the left of this. And I don't think there's hidden items or anything. Is there? No, there isn't. So I don't know where I got that idea. Guys, I don't know if you guys figured this out, but there's other stuff in this level. <laughs> Too slow. I like how your charge shot can actually stagger them. Oh, here comes the wind. It's breezy. Get some of that wind chill. don't have to jump jump slide slide in this level that will be a nice throwback to it though like that infamous stage in Mega Man 8 Ooh, I want this stuff too Man, I'm gonna be able to buy a lot of shiznit Hey, it's a Mastodon from Power Rangers. What's up? Zack, man, you really let yourself go. Oh, oh I didn't know you'd do that. Laser pattern is easy to figure out. Where you going? Now you're going. Yeah. You're only gonna give me one of these. Interesting sub boss. But we got through it. So now. I destroyed the ice ball. Are you heading back to work on that? That's cool. Can't wait for November then. Okay, looks like the wind moves on its own now. Oh, W tank. Moves the snowflakes too. At least all the snowflakes are alike in this game. Nice. Wow. 
I hope nobody makes a snowflake joke in the chat because, well, it's plugging a dead horse, really. And gamers are an inclusive community, alright? Oh, I didn't get him to stagger. Ah, there we go. That was not a hard jump. I know there's a lot of these particular enemies that keep, you know, moving around. They're so plentiful in this level for some strange reason. Wait a minute. Look at that fossil there with a the whale. Is that the same whale from Mega Man X? Can't be. That'd be so strange. You know, the one in Launch Octopus's level? Man, Mega Man games certainly like their fossils. Ah, the music here is like really good. Okay, I see what I gotta do. Is the wind still going? Yeah, wind's still going. Alright. Ah, okay. Oh! Ah, the wind actually took Rush too! I'm just gonna say that one up is not worth it anymore. Yeah. Hold on. Okay, it was just only going in the one direction. Maybe I should have viewed that tutorial. <laughs> nah. I'll figure it out. All right, let's see if you're weak against the blocks. Trying to take my spotlight? Yeah. You're skating on thin ice. Dodge the tower. Elegant. Uh, maybe it's not this guy. Look out. It's not the acid. Sheer beauty. Electricity! There's the weakness. Okay, that was cool. That I killed him when he was right on top of me. It, it was just like something out of a movie. But yeah, Tundra Man actually does seem pretty cool. Like, they went with a figure skater concept. Tundra Storm. Oh, it's almost like... Um, Storm Eagle's ability when you got it fully charged. Oh, AOE attack. It's so good to see you. Jeez, I got 1290 okay, bolts. Omega. Can I interest you in some parts? Uh, let's take the energy balancer, Neo. And there you have it. Part complete. I'll equip that. I think I'll by uh don't think I want the energy dispenser even though I could simply take it for the sake of completion. Okay, Mega. What'll it be? Yo, Mega. 
Actually, I think what I'd rather have is a tank container. Because I'm almost at the cap for uh, energy tanks. You want, buddy? And there you have it! Part complete! There. And I'm gonna say no to equipping that because that might be very annoying. It's so good to see. Okay, Mega, what'll it be? Yo, Mega! Uh, to answer your question, W Choi, I'm gonna try. I can't guarantee that I will. It all hinges on like how difficult some parts of the game will be. Let's go to Torchman next. This is the level I actually tried first when I first installed this game. It does look really neat to have like a campsite. It's not something I would have thought of right away. Is this guy gonna relight? Yeah, it is. I remember these guys can be a challenge if you destroy them too close. Because they blow up. And that owl over here, that's shaped like a lantern will periodically drop fire on you. Until it goes away. But it's not a difficult enemy, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. over here will instantly kill you if you touch them. So obviously don't touch them and you will live. And there. We avoided that catastrophe. As for this part, don't stand on the uh, metal platforms that are heated. Because heat hurts. I hope I can get another owl to come back. I missed the three screws. I don't give a shit about missing screws because they're like renewable. And the thing is, I had to make sure I didn't die. Screws are not actually collectible items. They're just like reused, they're spendable items. Yeah, I don't want to destroy that owl. So I kind of need the light. Location, location, location. Did I get that achievement for actually killing that enemy from behind? bird he looks clueless now cold turkey <laughs> I probably got that just for uh, using the uh, tundra storm whatever it was called yeah tundra storm Yeah, I feel like I definitely picked the right weapon to use here. Oh god. That yeah, W tank is not worth it. It's either that or death. God. 
That was a little close. I'm actually gonna go for that. Be here. There. I'll leave that alone because I can just buy them. Is that a good idea? I don't think it was. Okay, well, at least I can use this to light up the place. <laughs> Alright. That works. <laughs> Somebody messaged me on Steam. It's not a good time. Oh, here we go again. Take my knocks and move on. Be here. This is stressful. Oh, but we made it. All right, I'm just gonna wait so I can get my. Uh, Double gear uh, attack back to normal. Okay, it's good. Let the combat commence. All right, torch man, let's dance. Oh! That attack destroys him. All right, to answer your question, WWE Super Showdown starts, I think, 6.30 or 7.30. Which is no big deal if I even miss, like, the first bit of it, because I like to sleep. <laughs> All right, we got Blazing Torch now. up it can go a lot of places it's so good to see you say okay mega what are we Yo, mega can i interest you in some parts um okay mega what are we i think i'd rather have some e tanks are you sure Ta -da! already are you sure You know what? I'll take a beat call too. Already. Let's see. I think Blastman would be pretty good here to go for next. Huh, <laughs> Blastman Adventure. So hokey. I know what you're up to. I'm not letting you do this. I'm saving these boxes for Crash Bandicoot. He can blow them up himself. Yeah. 
I have a feeling if I pass with this laser, that's gonna happen. men there yeah, having the time of their lives okay that was not the best way I wanted to do that but okay can I use rush jet to steer my way up here nope Could you power up the rush coil? No. Oh, look, look at that machine there. Big. Big boy there. Getting achievements like crazy. Must suck that most wrestlers these days are either dead, retired, and or got better careers. Not necessarily the part they got better careers, but yeah, the ones that are dead. It's, it's, it's tragic. Oh, I could have used that to get those uh, health pickups. Just have to get them the other way. Damn, they just keep coming back. Ooh, good thing I moved. Oh, thank you, Beat. Thank you for saving me from myself. guys okay this seems seems a bit tricky to aim I'm also getting myself hurt I use like the little drones against them. No, until they fall directly on me. Which is happening a lot. already one of them seems pretty close there that's one way to do it feel the explosion so lame. Oh, okay. I guess I could have blown those up myself. Ah, oh, damn! I actually got... Should have waited there. Try to get away from the explosion, it didn't work. Definitely getting a lot of Crush Man vibes. 
At least I think that's what his name was in Mega Man 8. No, Grenade Man! I wish it would actually hold me in on enemies better. Oh. Rather than me having to aim it myself. Oh, it, it goes on its own, I need to say. Uh. There, nip that in the bud. Okay, I'm safe. Thought I messed up there. Wow. Oh. Takes a fair amount of those to actually kill that guy. Yeah, I started watching wrestling in a uh, 1999, and at that time, I actually thought The Rock was getting killed in a casket, being smashed with a sledgehammer. That's how impressionable wrestling was back in the day. I don't think that E tank is worth it. I'm just gonna leave it. thinking there might be something up there on top of that Wily sign, but it doesn't look like there is. Alright, did I pick the right weapon? You got the dud. Yep, this is the right weapon. Which I don't have enough of. Uh, I'll just buy. I'll just use this. Ready to blow. Boom. Okay, so that's seven down, one to go. I think I'll probably keep the stream going until I beat the eighth Robot Master. And then maybe next time if I want to stream this, we'll continue with the last part. Oh, that. I don't know if I like this. It looks like I'm wearing like some horned devil on my head. Okay, that's actually pretty neat. Okay. When it's big, it detonates on its own. Okay, I'll, I'll get used to it for a while. It's so good to see you soon. Okay, Mega. What'll it be? Are you sure? Ta-da! All ready. Good luck out there, Mega. Oh, Mega. Can I interest you in some parts? Uh, sure, let me buy the want, buddy? buddy call plus two. And there you have it. Part complete. Okay, I haven't saved yet, so I might as well do that now. And there's one Robot Master left, Impact Man. I heard he used to be TNA Man. 
That's a joke about wrestling. <laughs> you get jokes, right? I like to use. Wow, I can actually destroy the Mets when they're underneath thanks to electricity. I should be using the right analog stick more often because I switch faster. But I did notice those miners from Gutsman stage are back. I have a feeling I should just not drop straight down. So I'm likely to fall on spikes. Plus, I might miss some things. Oh, bottomless pit. That, that's another thing I should think about. Oh. Okay, let's think about this for a second. Does this weapon work against them? It does! Oh, I can actually get rid of those now. Got another achievement called the Regulars. Is that for like killing every enemy that was from Mega Man 1? Or like an old Mega Man game? That's a pretty interesting achievement to get. Sure, I'll take that. Oh my god! The moles are back! The moles were Metal Man stage. But now they go horizontally? an interesting concept. Man, I, I can't believe I'm doing so well at this. Then again, I played a lot of Mega Man games before. But I thought that 11 was going to kick my ass because of the demo. But it turns out all it was was just that you're given the bare bones. So that makes the most sense. Look at this guy welding having a good time. Little did he know I was here. And now he knows nothing because he's dead. Ooh, thought I jumped too early. Ah, was a good effort to get through that without falling. What am I getting? What am I getting? You know what? I'm okay with that. Oh, jeez. Look what these guys are doing. Ah, I thought I was going to make it. Seemed like I was until like it just got me in the head. Spinach pie, um, lemon rice soup, and rice pudding. Spinach pie kind of reminds me of, like a spinacapita that you like in Greek restaurants. Rice pudding I've had before and I really like. 
But uh, lemon rice soup. That sounds intriguing to me. Okay, I think this weapon is good here. Until it isn't. Jeez. I might die to this mid-boss. Okay, I just noticed that when I'm wearing Chain Blast suit, I look like Axel from X7 and X8. That's actually pretty neat. Ah, uh, no, no. Oh, okay. We're safe. We live in. Giving me lots of gears as if I'm gonna be using either my power mode or my speed mode. I suppose a case can be made for. Not that! Note to self if you're using Tundra Storm. You're hovering in the air, and platforms are not going to be still below you. <sighs> that was a lucky shot. I'll, I'll give him that. Let's see if this is helpful. You know what? That's kind of helpful. I'll stick with this for a little while. For that reason. And that reason. And that reason. And that reason. Didn't switch fast enough. I'll take that. I can't afford to take any more L's. I have two lives left. At least these guys are easy. So what are you guys doing for the rest of the night anyway? Me? I personally have to um, put up tomorrow's videos because I haven't got them uh, scheduled uploaded yet. Um, Shadow Man Episode 3, or Shadow Man Second Coming Episode 3, is still not up yet. I mean, it's still not rendered, which I need to do, wow, which I need to do after this. Holy shit, this part's actually rough. Because you gotta dodge these moles while you're on platforms and, well... That can happen. I got an achievement for not dying to spikes. They'll give you an achievement for anything now. Oh my god, again. Can I use Rush Coil on a moving platform? Yes, I can. And I think I need to do that. Holy crap, that was rough. Why 
did I think I could blow that up? I don't think there's any secret passages in Mega Man 11. Oh my god, they put that there? This game is not making anything easy for me. Okay, I think this is the weakness for Impact Man. Moment of truth. Is this the right one? I like to spike. What? <laughs> yep, that's a weakness. Sad thing is, it does take a wall for it to go off. But it does hurt him. The sad thing is, you do get stunned when he hits the ground. You're playing an MMORPG heavily inspired by Capcom's two Dungeons and Dragons, Arkham and Beat'em Up titles, and other related games. Uh, MMOs actually are not my strong point. But that reminds me of like Tower of Doom and like uh, Shadow over Mistar. Chronicles of Mistar. Mistara, I think it is. I played those D&D games before. Oh, now what? Ah, they got stunned. Oh my god. Okay, let's switch to this again. Because I got more power. Oh, I'm all out. This guy is very intimidating because of how fast he is. Okay, you're done. I see your boy! Arcade games? I don't know. Maybe. Seems unlikely at this point. But we'll see. But yeah, we finally defeated all eight robot masters. That one took the longest to defeat. Pile driver. Okay, turn on, and you get. I guess pile driver could actually be really good if I need to move to some places. idea where Wiley's gone to. Uh, he's totally vanished, Mega Buddy. Maybe he decided to turn tail and run. Huh? What is it, Otto? Uh, there's someone hijacking our signal. C could it be? Indeed it could. My genius neither runs nor hides! Wily! Light! 
than you, Mega Man. How dare you use my double gear system? Now you've crossed the line, I'll turn you into scrap myself! I'm at point E1685578. Come to my gear fortress, I'll be waiting for you! Gear fortress? That's all we needed. I'm heading out, Dr. Light. Hmm. It's time to finish this. Good luck, Mega Man. It's up to you to stop, Dr. Wily. Yes, sir. You can do it, Mega Man! Mega, be careful out there. Okay. All right, as expected, the uh, voice flap is just mostly meant for like the Japanese voice acting. You stand on the threshold of the fight. Okay, Mega. What are you? Yo, Mega. You don't Mega have anything new box? for this part? I guess not. Maybe if I buy this. But yeah, it turns out there are some things okay, I need Mega. to do to unlock specific items. I suppose I'll figure that out eventually. For now, I think this is a good time to end the stream. So, let me save. And, um, maybe on the next show, I probably will continue on with Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke. Because I haven't even touched that in over a week. And we are now at the point where we're at the 7th gym, and I would like to hopefully defeat it. So thank you all for watching, and I guess I'll see you all next time.